How's it going? My name is Vibes, and welcome back to Our Vibes. Now today, we're going to be talking about, are mistakes really that bad? Now, you might be wondering, they're mistakes. Of course, they're bad. Well, not necessarily. I'm pretty sure you've heard the cliche things like, you have to learn from your mistakes, and that mistakes are the only way to burn. Um, and that's actually a pretty important point. They're right. You do need to learn from your mistakes. So are mistakes really that bad? Stick to the end to be able to find out the true and finished answer. Now we're going to be doing a bit of a voiceover with a time lapse of a character that I've been working on. Now let's get this started. All right. So mistakes, why are they so important? Well, mistakes are just things we need to work on. It's so easy to make mistakes, but that's okay when it comes to our art. Mistakes are the way we find out what we need to improve upon. If we didn't make mistakes, we would all be professional artists from the day we were born. We will be able to create any work of art that's in our heads with no issues. See how unrealistic that sounds? It's unfair to ourselves if we beat ourselves up about our mistakes. I think that we should beat ourselves up if we don't learn from our mistakes. But vibes, how are we supposed to actually learn from our mistakes? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's a couple things about learning from your mistakes. First off, you need to observe what you did wrong and obviously don't do it again. This seems obvious, but a lot of people notice their mistakes and then forget and then make the same mistakes over again. So maybe just writing a list of like a past mistake that you start to notice in your art over and over again. Um, just writing things down helps you to remember for the next time you're creating a piece. But that's just step one. You also need to take the time to learn how to deal with this problem that you have. So let's just say that you can't draw hands like me. First, I would personally look at the mistake that I made, like say giving a human character only four singer fingers instead of five. I would write that down to remember what I was doing wrong, but still, I don't know how to draw hands. So as everybody says, you either Google it or you go to YouTube. And I am one of those people. I'm a big YouTube advocate. You know, subscribe. I'm a big advocate of my YouTube channel. Anyways, I would go to YouTube, watch multiple tut tutorials on how to draw hands in different positions, um, that structure of a hand, how it all works. And then I would be able to see what I need to improve upon, how to improve and how to progress in my art. So it goes like this, make the mistake, acknowledge the mistake and remember it. Learn from those who know not only how to fix your mistake, but how to improve upon it. But what's next? Now it's time for the hard work, time to practice and to actually improve. So that now you won't have to remember your mistake because you won't be making it anymore. You will just be improving about the skill that you had been practicing that was the right thing rather than just avoiding the wrong thing. So taking time to practice the thing that you're working on, practice the tutorial to get it down pat in your mind so that you don't make mistake, those mistakes again. Now for me here in this drawing, um, I personally made um, a mistake as I'm watching this over again, because I made this character, I believe, a month or two ago. And that process is what I feel was a mistake. So personally, um, now that I do things, I take that grayscale painting more seriously. If you guys watched my last video on the coloring process, you would have seen that I do all the values in a grayscale painting before I put any color down. Um, because it speeds up the coloring process a little bit. Um, 
so I'll probably put a card at the top right corner to link you to that video if you're looking to learn about coloring as well. Um, back to this, uh, I feel that the process took a very long time. I think this character like start to finish because I added some different elements and lighting um, took me, I think it was six hours, which if, honestly, I don't think it should take that long. But for me personally, I like to take my time with my pieces to just create some good work for you guys, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so what I would do personally, and this is what I did actually, um, is I actually saw how long it took and I said that that's probably an issue. I think I need to go take care of that. So what I did is I went to go watch um, a couple of YouTubers. Um, my favorite as of right now is actually there's two. Um, there's a guy named Brooks Eggleston over at Character Design Forge. If you guys have ever seen these videos, they're really good. Um, he talks about character designing and improving your process. But there's also another guy called uh, Trent Kanuga. I will link both of these YouTubers down in the description. They, um, Trent, Trent is awesome. Um, he has worked in the gaming industry and he knows what he needs to do to improve. It's really great. Um, help, helped me a lot. Um, he actually, one of his characters inspired this one. So um, I think he's an awesome person to watch, especially if you're just trying to improve your process. Um, if you're trying to get into like gaming or anything like that, um, he's definitely a person to watch, especially except after my videos, if you know what I mean. Okay, so after that, um, I had drawn a couple other things. Uh, that drawing that I posted in that coloring process video took me a lot shorter amount of time than this one because I changed up the process. Although I didn't do it polished as polished as this one, I know that even if I did do that, it wouldn't take as long as I took to do this one. Um, but either way, I was happy with how both of them came out. Um, and I also learned from my mistakes. So just taking the time to look back at your art, see what you need to improve upon, to see if you're still making those mistakes and then um, doing things to improve. That that's, that's, that's the thing, you just gotta improve. All right, so are mistakes bad? Short answer, no. They are your way of learning what you need to improve as an artist to be able to make the things that you want to make. Learning from your mistakes is the key. Putting the work in is important and improving your skills is how you progress. All right, so I think that's all I had for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was important or it was helpful for you. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments if you like that this drawing that I'm working on. I'll probably let the time lapse continue just so you guys can see the finished product. Um, I, just to let you guys know, I was working on this with my new brush set that I released over on Gumroad. Uh, I will have the link in the description if you guys would like to buy it. It is $3.99. You know, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good one, you know. I, I, I gotta give myself a pat on the back for the um, brush set. It's actually pretty solid. I, I enjoy using it. Um, it's very useful. Um, very mo multiple capable capabilities. Don't mind me. I don't know how to speak English. You know. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please share. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, you know, keep making art. Have a good one, my friends.